Mid-Journey, it's possibly the best AI tool for making visual art. You just type in a series of prompts, and the AI does its best to reflect your written command. It is capable of producing a wide range of art styles, from painting effects to ultra-realistic renders. Mid-Journey is a bot that runs on a Discord chat, so you need to first create an account on Discord before joining the Mid-Journey server via the Mid-Journey website. Here, on this Discord chat, you can find all sorts of strange and fascinating creations from the Mid-Journey community. Enter one of the newbies groups and add your own request by typing forward slash imagine, followed by a brief description of your idea, such as bear with sunglasses and a hat. The Mid-Journey bot will then begin creating your images, but you'll shortly realize that this public chat is too quick and you'll quickly lose track of where your request is among thousands of requests and results. However, if you scroll up again, you will notice your own entry highlighted with a yellow background. It will still disappear within seconds, but if you click the small inbox icon on the top right, you'll see an option to jump to your most recent result. You can now enjoy your randomly generated images. Then, in a grid of four squares, each result is unique. Some may be exactly what you envisioned, while others may be completely different. Just keep in mind that you can redo it. As a free user, you are limited to 25 jobs. It's enough to get started with the tool, but to get any actual use out of it, you'll need to subscribe to a subscription plan. The biggest benefit of a paid plan is being able to talk with the bot privately, so you don't have to try and keep track of your own creations in these fast-paced public chats. In the chat box, type slash subscribe and then follow the link to the sign-up page. The $8 plan may seem appealing, but 200 jobs each month isn't much depending on the use that you will give it. I opted for the $24 per month option. Once you're a premium subscriber, you may communicate with the Midjourney bot directly in your Discord direct messages by right-clicking on it and selecting message. When you type your command, it will no longer be lost among everyone else's creations. Alternatively, you can establish your own Discord server and invite the Midjourney bot to assist, keep your tasks organized. Create a name for your Discord server then return to the main mid-journey server to find the bot again. This time, select Add to Server. Select your Discord on the left and communicate with the mid-journey bot. Now, again, slash, imagine, followed by your command. After you receive your findings, you have a few alternatives, including re-rolling to generate an entirely new collection of images. Comparable to when you draw something by hand, every outcome is going to be different. It can look very similar, yet have little differences, or it might have a whole new meaning. It may take multiple re-rolls for the AI to figure out what you're looking for the first time. If you don't get what you're seeking for the first time, give it a re-roll to see what it produces the second or third time before trying alternative prompts. The other buttons correspond to the four grid squares, and the top row is upscaled to replicate a version of that precise outcome, whereas the bottom rows are made to create four new variations of that picture in a similar style, but with minor variances. For example, here are four variations of this bear, with sunglasses and a hat, all of which appear similar but have been altered randomly by the AI, because it is impossible to explain exactly what you want to modify. Once an image has been upscaled, it has been replicated at a higher resolution. You can either open the image and browse and save it, or you can try to upscale it further with light upscale redo or the beta option. It's worth trying both and comparing the results. One is sharper, more detailed, and has a higher resolution than the other, but keep an eye out for strange errors. Different upscaling techniques will almost certainly be implemented in the near future, so ideally we'll be able to export even larger images one day. Now that you've produced your first AI art, you may start experimenting with some of the parameters and other prompts. I want to do more mid-journey videos in the near future, so if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll stick around to watch as I share all of the mid-journey tips, tactics, and strategies that I've learned.